the opioid epidemic and certainly overdoses have been uh, rampant uh, in our state. Um, in 2015, we had over 33,000 deaths nationwide. I can only tell you that once I started hearing it from our community, which is the Irmo Chapin area, it touches home real quick. Uh, we have one amongst us that it touches very, very hard. Um, and certainly, Representative Bedingfield, we appreciate um, you being here. What started as a simple bill uh, from a constituent has blossomed into what we have today, which are 10 bills that Representative uh, Henderson will discuss later. Um, and, and our work will continue on in finding solutions for this problem. We've taken a comprehensive approach to this issue, hitting on things from education um, to pharmaceutical dispensaries to, to um, uh, Good Samaritan laws and, and the like, trying to take this in every aspect and deal with it uh, fully. We have a prescription drug monitoring program in the state that's been in existence for a decade and is only voluntary. It's not mandatory. So one of the main bills we have is going to mandate, mandate the use of the prescription drug monitoring program. We also have things where we want DHEC to offer uh, report cards to prescribers about their prescribing patterns. We want DHEC to also come up with what we call tamper-resistant or counterproof, counterfeit proof um, prescription blanks. There's, uh, there are bills in here that deal with um, a Good Samaritan law, which I know is something that's near and dear to Representative Bettingfield's heart in terms of the issues that he's been in, involved with. Uh, um, the opioid epidemic and illegal use of um, opioid derivatives such as heroin and now other drugs that have hit the streets of South Carolina such as fentanyl and all of its different um, analogic forms um, took my oldest son from me about a year ago this coming month. Um, my son struggled with uh, a pill problem that turned into a heroin problem um, which eventually took him from the earth after just 26 years. Um, this is not a place I thought I would be standing. I never thought that my family would be a family who is affected by this type of problem. And after struggling with him for six years and going to NA meetings and uh, meeting other addicts and their families, um, a lot of the problems that are there and are on the streets today, a lot of the deaths that are occurring in South Carolina are the result of abuse of prescription drugs and prescription pills. It doesn't start off with something um, off the black market and illegal and you know sold in a twisted up plastic bag. Earlier this month, opiate abuse and heroin abuse came up at Governor Henry McMaster's first cabinet meeting. And, you know, we're, we're challenged to holistically tackle the opioid uh, crisis, what the nation is calling an opioid crisis, and the distressing results that we've seen there. But we're hopeful, and, and we're working hard with anyone who is willing to help us overcome those challenges. Can you give us, please, the dimensions of the opioid crisis here and what that is? Sure. What it means for everybody. Yeah. So you know we're seeing um, a mark a marked uptick in the number of individuals looking for help with uh, opiate use disorder, and this is the misuse or of prescription drugs and or the abuse of heroin. And um, you know we're we're seeing a black market of um, particularly potent heroin uh, in, in the state and and the demand for that. So we're, we've seen an uptick in overdose deaths. Uh, 2015, we, we lost 594 South Carolinians to opioid-related overdose, and we expect that later this year we'll see over 600 deaths related to that. While we're on opioid, Chief, could you give us a brief insight into that from your point of view, please? Um, Governor, we continue to see, again, more and more heroin coming into our state, uh, cheap heroin, very high-quality heroin that we see. Uh, coming into our state. We're also seeing this fentanyl that um, that's coming from China um, in various um, different uh, compounds that they continue to change and uh, they get it here. Uh, and, and, and again, it's very deadly. Um, 
we're in the process right now of training all of our agents and all of our law enforcement around the, the state about how to handle this when they come in contact with it. We're providing uh, Narcan and Naloxone to our laboratory folks and our agents on the street so if they encounter it and inhale it or uh, it absorbs through their skin uh, they can be a victim of it as well and we're having to provide that uh, it's not it's, it's unlike anything really that we've we've ever experienced uh, with the amount that we're seeing coming into South Carolina currently 